Well, I will say here, here to that. I hope I'm among them. Send it over to Commander Kelly there. This is the highest rated video question uh, uh, of all of the Google moderator uh, questions. So we're going to roll the video. This comes from Ethan from San Francisco. All the Google moderator participants voted this the most interesting question. So here it comes. I know Commander Kelly's wife, Representative Giffords, is has really worked hard on solar policy in Congress and led by example, installing panels on her roof in Tucson. I was hoping to get the crew's thoughts not just on solar power, but the power of space exploration to really challenge ourselves and develop new technologies that not only enable space exploration, but also benefit everyone back at home. Yeah, great question. So that's, what, you know, one of the... It's, it's one of the interesting things about when you do something that's really, really hard, like traveling in, in space. Um, getting off the planet and into Earth orbit and going to the moon are very difficult things to do. And when you do something like that and you push technology forward, you get a lot of, a lot of benefits. Uh, you, you know, things that people currently use every day, like telecommunications and their cell phones and computers, had a lot to do with uh, the, the United States... Uh, reaching to put men on the moon, and then what we've been doing in space exploration for the last 40 years. So, it, you know, it's really a technology driver, and it's it, it's really important for our country. So, obviously, we're here, and we're big promoters of space exploration, but it's one thing that dr drives our economy, and it's, uh, you know, important for the advancement of science and technology. But great question. All right, this one's, uh, a couple of you can take this if you like. Uh, this one comes from uh, Smith5SE from Michigan. Commander Kelly and crew, he says, how do you feel about using social media to share your personal story as an astronaut and inspire others? Has it been beneficial for you? And will you continue to use it for outreach upon wheel stop? So the question, you know, the tweeting and all the social networking, the way you connect with people has changed. Yeah, Miles, I've certainly uh, noticed the difference uh, between my last mission two years ago and uh, this mission with uh, social media, including uh, tweeting. Uh, we uh, were, uh, some of us like myself, Box, and a few others were able to uh, tweet right before the uh, our launch, and we shared you know, our, our, our uh, special meals that we had and what it was like to wake up on launch day and everything, and people really enjoyed it. And that's how we uh, pay back to the people who pay for our salaries, is to uh, share this adventure with them. You know, another uh, tweeter uh, on board is uh, Ron Guerin. I think he's gotten a lot of popularity from showing, uh, showing some of the things he's been able to see from space. Yeah, Miles, um, I think those of us that, uh, you know, have the privilege of, of flying in space and seeing the Earth from space, you know, we, we understand that it's a responsibility to share that uh, with everybody as best we can. And, and some of the social media that we use, you know, uh, Twitter and we have websites, so Fragile Oasis is a blog site that we're using, is a way for us to have people follow along on the mission, not just as spectators, but almost as fellow crew members and to, and to really participate in what we're doing. And like I said, we have a, you know, we, we understand we have a big responsibility to share share what we're doing with as many people as we can, and this is one of the tools that we use to do that. Uh, this can go to, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to, uh, send it over to, to Drew, I guess, for this one. Um, this one comes from Florida on YouTube. When you're in orbit, do you have to make a lot of maneuvers due to satellites, space debris, and other stuff? Okay, so I, Miles, thanks. I guess that was a question. Do we have to make a lot of maneuvers? And the answer is uh, sometimes. Fortunately, uh, many of those items uh, are tracked for us. Well, all the items that we make maneuvers for are tracked for us, and uh, so we do we do that from time to time. It would, uh, it's, it's not as frequent as some might think. Obviously, the bigger danger for us is items that are not tracked, and that's especially true for uh, for spacewalkers. So it's something we think about. But uh, fortunately, uh, many of those uh, issues are taken care of by the ground control teams that are watching out for us. All right, send it over to Box there. Greg Johnson, this one comes from DJ Admiral on YouTube. What kind of Internet connection do you get up there? Is it fast? Any restrictions? Uh, wink, wink. What's the IP range of visits from outer space? 
good question, DJ. Um, as shuttle guys, we really don't uh, partake in the Internet. We've got uh, synchronizations with our emails. Uh, it kind of gives us a pseudo e email uh, or pseudo Internet uh, to communicate with our families and friends and our associates. However, I'm going to pass this to Ronnie because on the station, I believe that they have uh, a better Internet than we do on the shuttle. So this is uh, something that's uh, somewhat new is our capability to use the Internet. And um, how it works is we could be at a laptop here on the International Space Station and basically control remotely a, a, a PC or a computer down on the ground that is connected to the Internet. So it's, we're, we're limited to when we have the, the correct communications coverage to be able to, to um, be on the Internet. And there is some lag in it, so it does uh, work slower than you're probably used to on the ground. But it's a very useful tool, and it, it really... Uh, helps us to stay connected with uh, what's going on on the Earth. All right, let's send this one up to Mike Fink in the back there. This comes from um, Mondia Blue in Houston, Texas. You know that place. You get to take anything extra on the shuttle, like pictures, a teddy bear, or maybe a special blankie. Well, every, um, every mission... Uh, takes a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, we try to carry as much scientific payload and uh, useful things that we can, like resupply for the International Space Station. So we're very limited to take uh, personal gear. I did bring uh, some pictures of my family. I have uh, three beautiful kids and a really nice wife. She's also beautiful. I brought uh, a few small trinkets for the, for the kids. And uh, that's pretty much all that we can bring. On, a, on the space shuttle, we're only gone from home for about uh, two or three weeks. So it's uh, not a big deal, and uh, so we don't need to bring any special blankies. All right, do you, do you, uh, do you have any of, your, uh, any of your personal trinkets with you, on you, that you can show us? I was just uh, working along with uh, Drew here on our uh, space walking suits, our EMUs that we're going outside uh, with tomorrow. So I, didn't, uh, I don't have any of my equipment on me, any of my rings or any of the other trinkets. But I think uh, we have some here from the other guys. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, this, Miles, this is the, the, this is the, the Peace, Love, Gabby bracelet. Wow. 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 That's, uh, that's pretty special. I'm glad. Uh, I, I, uh, I wish I had one myself. Hey, uh, this one, uh, uh, final kind of, this is one of my favorites from uh, Innocent Nightmares, Garland, Texas. Do you ever actually say, Houston, we have a problem? You know, if we had an issue, we would just normally call the ground with Houston Endeavor, and then we would talk about our problem. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's about all the time we have. i I got to implore upon you, um, Group Somersault. Can you do one for me? Yeah, no problem. I think we can do that, right? That's certainly not uh, as graceful as it could have been. That's why we usually hesitate to do those, but it's uh, certainly fun to do. Well, <laughs> I got to say, uh, at least you're having some fun up there. You're not going to the Olympics with that. Keep, keep the day jobs, guys, or night jobs on this mission. Uh, it yeah, Miles, and I'll, uh, I'll send you one of these bracelets. I would like one. Thank you to all of you very much. Appreciate your time. I know you got a busy mission ahead. you got the spacewalk ahead. And thanks to all of you for your time uh, and uh, to be a part of this and for watching us and sending us such ter terrific questions. You can see portions of this interview on the PBS NewsHour and the entire interview on the NewsHour's YouTube channel. For everyone at Google, YouTube, and the PBS NewsHour and Space Shuttle Endeavor and ISS, I'm Miles O'Brien. Station Endeavor, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event.